Hi guys, good morning and welcome back. Today we are discussing about does your crankshaft needs a replacement, a repair or can you reuse it? For example, uh, you found some fault with your engine and you're overrolling it and you found that oh, there are some minor faults on my crankshaft. So is it good to reuse the crankshaft or it needs a replacement or repair? So tune in, uh, we will be explaining about it in detail. So this is just a part one video. There will be part two and part three where I'll be explaining it in much uh, detail. All right, so you have taken the crankshaft out as you're doing your um, repair and you found some faults with your crankshaft. So what you have to look for initially is any um, keyway related faults, the timing gear keyway if you find it faulty that's it you have to definitely uh, replace uh, your crankshaft so look at that so if it's faulty timing your keyway so definitely you need to replace your crankshaft so why that need to be done that will be uh, updated on another video tomorrow so that's the first one so if it's not faulty what's the next thing you have to look for if it's not faulty then ins inspect for overheating if there are any overheating marks on your crankshaft or you know that definitely the crankshaft got overheated then yes your crankshaft definitely needs replacement but if there is no overheating issues with your crankshaft then what's the next thing you have to look for it's uh, the journal so if the journals have cracked check the journals then you as you inspect the journals you will know if it's cracked definitely your crankshaft needs to be replaced if it's not then jump to the next one check for the run out and if you find excessive run out which is uh, out of specification that means your crankshaft need to be replaced so say, there are these four conditions uh, as we mentioned here so the timing gear keyway faulty uh, overheating issues on your um, crankshaft cracked journal or excessive run out the crankshaft needs a replacement but you don't have any of these issues none of these issues are there in your crankshaft then let's jump into the next procedure check for excessive journal wear so any wear and tear on your journal if it have excessive journal wear and tear then definitely what's going to happen you need to repair your crankshaft so you don't have to replace it but you can repair that particular issue there but if you don't have any uh, issues there that means you don't have any uh, uh, journal wear and tear so then go to the next one which is oil seal so if you have any wear on your oil seal so if you have any wear on your oil seal as you inspect it then the oil seal need to be replaced and uh, so that's a repair so yes then uh, it need to be repaired uh, but if you don't have any issues with your oil seal then we can jump into the next process where you inspect for wear on your thrust surface so the thrust surface you inspect it finds to be all right then it's fine if it has issues then it still can be repaired but if you don't have any of these three issues that means then your crankshaft can be reused so when i say three issues because we just discussed on that so all of those um one two three four five six seven so timing gear keyway is good uh, inspected for overheating issues no overheating problems uh, your crankshaft uh, journals are good there is no excessive run out uh, general wear and tear looks to be all right that's not excess your oil seal looks to be good and the thrust um, surface has no excessive wear it looks to be within the spec then you can actually reuse your uh, crankshaft so this is our first video on this series uh, in tomorrow's video so when I, mean, I say that's just part one tomorrow's video will be explaining about each of these in detail and what we will be saying is why you need a replacement when you have this issue or how we can repair your uh, crankshaft when you have these issues here so tune in for uh, tomorrow's video thanks for watching have a good day